Now we're going to talk about a concept called specificity, how specific our CSS rules are. Because I get tongue-tied a lot and I mispronounce specific as specific, I decided to make a web page about the Pacific Ocean. Also, it's my favorite ocean. The, this web page here has a heading and a few paragraphs, including this short little paragraph at the top. And it uses three different types of selectors in the CSS to style these paragraphs. The first rule selects all of the paragraphs in a page and changes their font family to sans serif. The second rule selects all of the paragraphs with a class name info paragraph and changes their color to blue, which affects all but that first little paragraph. The final rule selects only the single paragraph with the ID main paragraph. It sets a font weight to bold. Now, if we look at the main informational paragraph, we see it's had all three properties applied to it. It's sans serif, blue, and bold. The browser applied them all because the selectors in every rule selected for that paragraph. What if we made it so that all three of the rules set the color of paragraphs? How would the browser decide which color to make this paragraph? Let's try it and see. I'll add a color orange to the P rule and then a color green to main paragraph. And now that that main paragraph is green. Why is that? How did the browser decide green? It was given three rules that all included that paragraph and they all specified a color property, but it seems to have only applied the green property. Well, this is where specificity matters. Some rules are considered more specific than other rules in CSS. Generally, an ID is more specific than a class, and a class is more specific than an element. And that is why main paragraph one. That's a simple rule you can remember if you're comparing simple selectors, uh, but the browser actually follows more complex logic than that. The browser actually calculates what's called a specificity score for each rule and compares the specificity scores to decide. Sometimes what can happen is that two rules could be equally specific. Like if we had two rules with class names. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna add another rule in here to select based on the important class, which is attached to the main paragraph and a strong tag below. Uh, I'll start off by making it set a background color so you can see what it selects. Let me see background color yellow. And now you can see they both have a background color yellow because there's no other equally specific rule applying a background color, so that wins. However, what if I also put a background color property in this info paragraph rule, and I make that orange? Let's see what happens. Aha! The strong tag is still yellow, but that main paragraph has a background color of orange. How did the browser decide which to pick? of these two equally specific selectors. Here's the rule. In the case that two selectors are equally specific, the last one wins. So if I want that important selector to win, I can cut and paste it below. Ta-da, it's yellow. That seems kind of scary for do just based on ordering of the rules. If you're applying a style and it's not taking effect because of that, instead of reordering, you could also make the rule more specific by adding more to it to up its specificity score. If I wanted to make sure that info paragraph always won, I could add P in front of it, and now it's more specific, just by a little bit, but enough so that it wins the specificity game with the important selector. Specificity will become more and more important as you write more complex CSS. Keep it in mind, even though it is, it is a little tricky, but just keep it in mind, and whenever you're staring at your web page and wondering, hey, browser, why aren't you applying my properties? Think carefully about the specificity and ordering of your rules. And that will help you out a lot.